All right, what's up guys? Well, today's Tuesday, August 27th, and I'm hitting the road for North Dakota. Just got the truck here behind me all packed up. So I'm gonna get ready, hit the road here, and uh, be there in a few hours. And I got three full days of prep work, checking trail cameras, hanging new stands, moving stands if I need to, to get everything ready for opener on Friday. So uh, here we go. I'm in North Dakota now and uh, I just finished getting a new ground blind set up on our waterhole property and you see behind me it's right here and uh, I haven't been able to do anything with the camera because it's been absolutely just pouring rain on me but I was able to check a one camera where we have a ladder stand back here um, I had the sensitivity on high which was too bad because I had a ton of wind pictures and the SD card filled up in a week but I had another camera along this pond over here just brushing this blind and uh, we'll see what's on it on the camera and then my buddy Drew is probably going to be spending most of his time on this blind this weekend and uh, I'm really excited for what's to come here so I got it brushed in really well and uh, I'm going to head to the next spot and check a couple more cameras. Okay, well it's about 6 o'clock, probably can't really hear me very well, it's been just horrible weather all day um, and it's been raining a lot of the day so I haven't been able to film much. So I've checked like 7 cameras today, I think I've got about 10,000 images to go through and uh, I actually just gained permission on this piece of private that I'm checking out. Um, there's barley fields, some tree rows. Doing a quick sweep of it and I think I'll come in here tomorrow and put up a camera and uh, who knows, maybe a spot we'll hunt this weekend. So just doing a little quick sweep of it now. Tyler is headed out and we're going to do some glassing tonight. And we'll be doing some driving around looking for a particular buck and uh, hopefully I can find him and get some footage of him. So, uh, We'll go from there. All right, well, I'm still on this new property. I think I just found where I want to be. I'm on this corner where this barley field comes to some CRP, and there's some thick stuff back here. It looks like bedding. Got a good spot for a stand here. And I'm going to go check it out. It looks like I have a little like cattail slough over here where bucks could definitely be bedding. And you kind of got everything coming together for a transition area. Really like it. I think I'm definitely going to hang a stand and a trail camera there tomorrow, and uh, and see how I like it. I mean. I always like having options and getting permission on a new property is pretty exciting. Day two here in North Dakota. Got my buddy Alan with me helping uh, doing some stand work and whatnot. Right now, this might look familiar to you, but we're on a piece of private that butts up to some public that I was hunting Kobe on, and it's one of my favorite spots. But uh, fortunately, the landowner sold it to a different landowner, and uh, I've got to come pull my stand. He's not letting me come in here this year. But on the positive, that property that I checked out yesterday, he actually owns and told me I could hunt there. So we're going to take this ladder stand down move it over to that property and get a setup going and uh, I think it could be pretty good. I'm a little bummed though having to come out of this property when we pulled it in actually what it's noon right now and there was two nice bucks standing in the field right close to where I shot my velvet buck last year so that was kind of a little gut punch but uh, what do you do? So we're gonna take the stand down and bring it over to the new spot. All right well it's about what do we got here? 220. So me and Alan have been out here for what an hour? Yep one hour. We just got this ladder stand all hung up moved onto this property it's really cool because we have this barley field that was picked and you got some like winter wheat starting to grow up and then way back here, I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing, we got beans and uh, we got a lot of CRP and some thick where I think deer are bedding in and then more behind us. We can just see forever out of this stand. So got an Exodus cam right up here and uh, I'm going to be probably be checking this slash coming back here to hunt here in a few days. So uh, go from there and see what happens. Today is Thursday, August 29th, 
And I'm out doing some more camera work today, checking out some new stuff. Right now I'm in our river bottom property and uh, checked this camera the other day. Really wasn't much on it. So I'm gonna pull this camera right now and I'm gonna set it up in a new area that I need to go scout today um, near one of our other public spots and uh, set it up and that way I can check it on maybe Saturday and see if we're looking for somewhere else to sit on Sunday. It might be another potential spot. So just gonna kind of shifting cameras around and uh, helping it make a game plan for this weekend. So Drew should be getting here tonight. Tyler will be out here tomorrow and uh, hunting season starts tomorrow. So got kind of some final work to do today and do some glassing tonight and uh, kind of go from there and see where we're gonna sit this weekend. So I'm gonna go pull this and go from there. Well, I just got a trail camera set up in an absolutely mint looking spot. Behind me you can kind of see, we got all these woods and we got cattails right behind it. We got a really big pond right behind it. And then coming through this grass here behind me, there are just a ton of big trails. Just coming all the way out into this bean field over here. And uh, I'm pretty pumped. I'm, this spot has me more excited than pretty much any other one so far. And uh, there's a good chance I'll be hunting here this weekend. So it's got everything you need in one compact spot. And uh, I think it could be pretty good. So after this, we're gonna do some glassing tonight and uh, tomorrow we'll be hunting. <laughs> 